Thanks for joining us. Recently, deadly attacks on horses in the upstate now have the attention of state investigators. State agents in the Greenville County Sheriff's Office are hosting an informational meeting tonight in Landrum. And 7 News' Kimberly Brown is there. She's standing by live with an update. Kim. Ooh, I hope you can hear me. The tolls are chiming on top of this church. We're here at the Ebenezer Welcome Baptist Church right here in Landrum. This is where the meeting will take place tonight. It will be an opportunity for the public to come to see how the investigation is going so far. They can ask questions and they'll also look for a path forward with law enforcement to solve this crime. Families like the Pearsons are heartbroken over recent attacks on their horses. He was a good boy. Their 20 year old horse Chance was shot three times. And while they don't think their loss in Traveler's Rest is connected to recent attacks, their hearts still go out to those owners affected. Ann McGinnis found her horse stabbed. There wasn't any other scrapes on him as if he had fallen or fallen on a branch or anything like that. Um, it, it was a clean cut into his gut. Law enforcement and state officials are meeting with the public at Ebenezer Welcome Baptist Church. South Carolina's Attorney General's Office asked SLED to help in the investigation. At this point, it'd be inappropriate to say uh, what we're bringing to bear because it depends on what is needed from that individual local law enforcement agency. But know that we're ready to support in any fashion we can. At a prior meeting, Spartanburg County Council also making a point to show their support. I will volunteer my time to help catch this sick person and, and hopefully they get the full blunt and uh, force of the county law and state law and putting them where they should be behind bars. <laughs> Well, so far, no arrests have been made. The first incident, according to the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, happened on October the 31st, and so far, they have no suspects. Coming up tonight at 10 and 11, we'll bring you updates on what happened in tonight's meeting. Reporting live in Landrum, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Sounds like the bells are calling people to the meeting this evening. Kim Brown, thank you. 7 News' Ann Maxwell will be there throughout that meeting. She'll have all the details, 7 News at 10 and 11.